Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Carmo and I created this social media account that you're looking at. It is my multimodal annotated bibliography on social media. I created this for my writing class 4908 for digital publishing um, with Dr. Van Coten. So for this project, we were supposed to look at a couple different sources um, for an issue in digital publishing, I chose social media. Social media, I think, is really, really important for anyone with a marketing strategy. If you want to get into marketing, social media is the place to be. For digital publishers, we are at an advantage because the best thing to do on social media is tell a story. And who tells stories better than digital publishers? So, um, on my multimodal annotated bibliography, I wanted to show a progression of the sources. So why should you be on social media? What should you do once you have it? And what to do next with your social media accounts, how to improve them, where to look to see ideas and inspiration. So the first source that I talked about was Digital Marketing Strategy, which is a print source. Um, in there is a chapter on social media. It talks about why you need to be on there, what to do, how to create really good content. Um, in that source is a lot of great information um, and check out those posts to see it. Uh, the other source, uh, and the next source I talked about was a web source. I found an online article by Sprout Social. They're a really big think tank in social media. Um, they know a lot about what does well, how to get content views, how to get people to see your work. So they talk a lot about narrative storytelling, and I thought that was just really well fit, well suited to digital publishing. There's nothing there's nothing publishers do better than tell stories. So um, that's a really great source of information for digital publishers as well. Uh, there's an Echo Box report with a lot of visual data. I thought it was really really cool to make some infographics um, on the data uh, collected by Echo Box. They, re they did a lot of research, conducted a couple surveys with a bunch of publishers around the world, and there's a lot of really good findings in there. So you can see what other publishers are looking to do, what their projects are, what platforms they're focusing on. Um, a really big takeaway from that report was to know your audience. Everyone needs to know their audience better. So looking more into who is viewing your stories, who you want to be viewing your stories can really, really help boost your marketing, boost the views, boost the engagement. Um, there is also an audio piece uh, that I found. It's part of a podcast called The State of Digital Publishing. On there, there's an episode that really dove deep into Facebook. I think Facebook is uh, overlooked. It's kind of seen as a little bit overrated or not really modern compared to newer platforms like Instagram or TikTok, but Facebook is still the leading social media platform in the world. Everyone is on Facebook. They have billions and billions of viewers and users. So knowing how to, you know, manipulate the Facebook algorithm, knowing what people are clicking on, what they want to see, where they want to see it, that's all really, really good information when you're making a digital publishing uh, marketing strategy. So the last source was actually a collection of sources. I looked at a couple different social media accounts for uh, other digital publishers uh, in the market. So I looked at Penguin Books, uh, Creative Nonfiction Magazine, and another really small magazine called Under the Gum Tree. So these magazines um, and publishing companies did a really, really great job of posting regularly. They were always posting regularly, which is why I chose them to take a look at. Um, some of them do, were doing a lot better with their engagement rates. I think Creative Nonfiction did a really good job of engaging a decent percentage of their followers, but the others kind of struggled. Um, I think what's really, really key from looking at your competitors and looking at different people in the industry is seeing what they're doing well that's working and what they're doing not so well. So things that these three were doing really well were 
engaging with their followers. Penguin Publishers was doing giveaways, they were encouraging comments, they were interacting with their followers. That's all really, really good stuff. Um, where some of the others kind of struggled was using templates um, and posting kind of simple, repetitive posts and graphics. Um, Creative Nonfiction Magazine does a really good job of breaking the mold. They have a lot of eye-catching graphics. None of their posts really look like they follow a template. They're all really unique and creative. Um, and people love to see that kind of stuff. So being able to uh, understand what's going on in your industry and knowing what other people are doing is gonna be really, really great to help you develop your strategy. So I created this uh, annotated bibliography on Instagram. That's where you're viewing this video. It's where you've seen all the entries, seen all the research. Um, and it was definitely really interesting to create this research and put it on this really visual platform. Um, at the beginning, it kind of, I kind of struggled to understand and figure out what kind of visuals I was going to make. I knew I wanted to talk about social media on social media. It's the best way to do it. So I was faced with these really text heavy uh, sources and I wasn't quite sure how I was going to represent them visually. But I'm really proud of the uh, graphics that I've made, the uh, data charts that I created for some of the sources. I think they turned out really beautiful, really clean, and I'm really excited to have you guys check those out further. Um, I'm really proud of the final product, and I think that it turned out really, really nice. So I would say overall, this pr project was really, really great, and I'm really excited to take some of these uh, strategies that I learned, a lot of the research that I learned, and apply them to future social media projects that I take on, whether that be personal, um, sharing my own stories or my own work that I've published elsewhere, or if I'm working uh, the social media for a company or a brand. Um, I really think that being able to understand how to use this tool can be really, really powerful and really, really valuable for anyone who's trying to increase views on their content or draw a lot of engagement. So thank you so much for checking out my work. Um, if you have any questions on anything, feel free to drop a comment. Um, and, you know, if you have anything you need from me, feel free to DM me and... Uh, yeah. All right, guys. See ya.